Welcome back to our IB Biology video series. This is the second video in IB Biology Topic 3, Genetics, where we will be looking at chromosomes, sex determination, and karyograms. It is important to understand that all DNA in eukaryotes is condensed within the nucleus to form structures known as chromosomes. As covered in our previous IB Biology Topic 3 video, genes are small sections of DNA. They are therefore small sections of a chromosome, with multiple genes being found on each chromosome. Looking at the larger structure of a chromosome, they are divided into two contributing arms, known as sister chromatids. Each sister chromatid has an identical base sequence to the other, i.e. they are clones. The two sister chromatids are attached to one another via a centromere. Chromosomes are rarely found alone but instead form pairs, known as homologous chromosomes. These are formally defined as two chromosomes that carry the same genes but are not identical as they contain different alleles. It is worth noting that similarities between chromosomes within a single species are key for successful breeding. However, chromosomes vary between different organisms. When comparing prokaryotes and eukaryotes, they are found in two distinct forms. In prokaryotic cells, DNA is circular and naked, i.e. not associated with protein. Additionally, loops of DNA, called plasmids, are also present. Plasmids are exchanged through binary fission, conjugation via pili, or taken up from the environment. They contribute to traits such as antibiotic resistance, but play no role in daily metabolism. In eukaryotic cells, DNA is linear and protein-associated. As you know, it is organised into chromosomes, which come in varying shapes and sizes, depending on the centromere position and length. In humans, there are 23 different chromosome pairs. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.